Now, it's different though. Now, let's look at this idea. We're going to look at what we call degrees, minutes, and seconds notation. Okay? So, this is also sort of known as uh, D M X. Alright? Degrees, minutes, seconds. Okay? Now, ultimately, what I'm going to do is show you just really how to do this on the calculator. So, all this is going to be is just a little calculator exercise. But I'm going to show you where it comes from. Okay? A, a minute is basically a part of a degree. Okay? What you have is that you have 60 minutes is equal to one degree. Okay? So if I was talking about in angle terms, I know you never heard of minutes and seconds in terms of angles, but that's where they're coming from. So we're talking about angles. 30 minutes would be how much of a degree? Half of a degree. Okay? So so, for instance, if I had 30 degrees, um, back to that, let's say like 20 degrees and 30 minutes. 30 minutes is a half a degree. So, this would be 20.5 degrees. Okay? Because 30 minutes is a half of a degree. Okay? Now, when it comes to seconds, there are just like time here, 60 seconds in one minute. Okay? So a second is a part of a minute. So if I was talking about, say, 30 minutes here, or if I was talking about, for instance, 30 seconds, that would be half of a minute, 0.5 of a minute. Okay? Now, the way that you do this when you convert them here, is you could use uh, dimensional analysis. I couldn't think of the word. Okay. So, for instance, if I had 52.125 degrees, what I could do is convert it into this notation here where I would get 52 degrees so many minutes and so many seconds. And what I could do with that is my dimensional analysis. So what I could do is change 0.125 into minutes. Okay, so I could do 0.125 degrees and switch it into minutes. Now, what did we know about degrees in minutes? There are 60 what minutes in one degree. So I could put what one degree is. 60 minutes. Now, what would happen to the degrees? Cancel, Cancel out. Now, y'all are really good at dimensional analysis because y'all got some good chemistry teachers who teach you really well. That's why I show you this one. So, really, you're going to say 0. 0.125 times 60, which is something. All right. So, what we're looking at here so far is we would have 52 degrees. Now, we're not going to use the 0. 0.5. We're just going to say 7 minutes, and what we're going to do, the 0.5, we're going to change into seconds. So keep in mind, this would be minutes. So if I had 0.5 minutes, we say that there are, what, 60 seconds in one minute. And so what you're doing is you're just taking the leftover parts of the minutes and changing them into seconds. Now, 0.5, that's just a half. So that's going to be, what, 30 seconds. So now, this would give me 52 degrees. Did you say not 30, but 7 minutes and 30 seconds. So that's going from a decimal to degrees, minutes, seconds. Now, going the other way, it's not that big of a deal either. If I started with this, I could take 30 seconds and change it into minutes and then take those minutes and change them into degrees to get back to this. Now, the bottom line is this. It's all in the calculator. Okay? You don't have to do dimensional analysis because you can do it on your calculator. So let me show you where it's at on the calculator. 
On your calculator, you have an angle beam. You'll see um, right above your apps button, you have the word angle. Okay. Now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to type in 52.125. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that into degrees, minutes, and seconds. So if I go to that angle menu, take a wild guess as to what changes it into degrees, minutes, and seconds. The fourth one. DMS. So if I go down and select that option, see it's going to change 52.125 into do degrees, minutes, and seconds. So 52 degrees, 7 minutes, 30 seconds. Okay. Now, let's change it back to a decimal. Now, this way is a little bit more complicated. You have to put the degree sign, the minute sign, and the second sign. Okay. So you do 52 and now you have to do degrees. So if you go to the angle menu, see where degrees is? The first one. And now we're going to do seven minutes. So I have to go back to that angle menu and get the minute symbol. Alright, are y'all with me so far? Okay. And now we're going to do 30 seconds. So 30. Now, you would think that they would put seconds in this menu, wouldn't they? If they put minutes, so that they, but they did I have no idea why they did that. Forever, I didn't know where the seconds was. And you just have to look. But if you look at the plus sign and look above, that's the seconds. And so you have to hit alpha plus to the seconds. So I'm going to go second quit back to my home screen. So for the second symbol, you have to hit alpha and then plus. Okay, and that's going to change it back to a decimal. Okay, can I ask you a question? Alright, so, because I've been going on with my calculator, the scientific calculator does this too. Okay. And so that's why I don't really make you do it this way. Okay. I just let you use the calculator because even the scientific calculator, it's, it's actually easier on the scientific calculator than it is on the graphic calculator. Alright, now, are you all okay with that? You want to do another example? No. No. Okay. So you remember where this was though? Everything is on the angle menu. Okay, so you can do it all on the calculator there. And usually what they do, some of them they'll come out even, you can round whatever the direction set, which is hey, usually the double one. Do I now? Are you the double one page like Alpha. Alpha plus. Okay, that's the seconds. Alright, now look over there. You've got you're gonna go back into the book a pretty good deal for the tree. Okay, on page 281, 19 through 27, that's going to be doing this. Those are just going to be calculated problems. And then 45 through 47, you're going to be looking at coterminal angles and reference angles. Okay, angles that start in standard position. All right, let me do this. When you guys pack up, um, when you walk out the door, just uh, stack your folders up on that end of that table oh, up yeah, there. Yeah. And I know some of you gave it. You gave them to me before you left. That's fine. Did you get them on? Yeah, I got it.